All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be bringing you this game already in progress between, looks like, Region and Wayne Brady Gamers, a.k.a. Latino Heat. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this is going to be a Euro game. And uh, my co-caster for this evening is going to be another like, Claudio from Latino Heat. Um, how's it going, Claudio? Hi, it's good. How are you? Uh, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit of correction there. It is the four-player cup. And... Um, yeah, I've actually made a, a pretty good uh, a pretty good effort to make sure that I point that out. Let me just go ahead and uh, tweak my audio settings because I feel like my game is way too loud right now. <laughs> but um, again, we are being joined by uh, Latino Eats Claudia, and um, I mean it's kind of gonna it's gonna be weird asking you for who you're rooting for, obviously. But um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Why, why don't you uh, go ahead and uh, let us know as far as just. Uh, we are seeing that your team is playing it on this uh, bottom area. What what are your what does your team typically try to do here to avoid damage, and what has gotten you guys this far? Well, first of all, as you could see, Griffin's by the boxes, which when he gets pulled, it's an easy clear, but that didn't work, and they just saved the quad. Wow, nice. But um, yeah, we try not to. We just stay there, clear common, and shut down attacks. Well, try to at least with this thing. It could be a little hard, but whatever. No one's complaining. Right, um, I mean it is a pretty uh, typical place to take an attack and especially being that you can't rush a crescendo, it is a European Cup and again I just want to go ahead and point out that uh, this is being brought to you by everyone at four players and again I've made a conscious, I made a conscious and a constant effort to really mention that at every turn and here we go we have an attack coming up right now this hunter's going to be coming up from the back and be deciding to actually stay out right now as he does come in for a 16 damage DP on Francis followed by the other hunter getting the cover on Bill, that boomer doesn't look like he's going to connect on anyone, Claudia, as we see Lewis finally dropping yeah. down and dealing with that smoker. I think if that boomer landed, that could have been a really good attack, especially with that smoker, but nothing went their way. Definitely. And tank is out. Yeah, we do see a tank, and it is going to be in the hands of uh, M4K or Make, Make I guess. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to read out the numbers individually, but yeah, it is Make. <laughs> And uh, let's go ahead and do a roster rundown. We all know who's on Latino Heat. We see Griffin, Dazer, Not Goose, and uh, why don't you let us know who's on Regions? Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to see or how to read some of these letters, but it looks like John Jones, some cool Russian letters, Mercenary, and Make. Most definitely, and again, we will be seeing uh, this tank make his way in any moment now. He's actually going to probably pass it here. He's only sitting at about 0% of his rage. So again, uh, this is a pretty... Uh, Dangerous spot for a tank. Uh, just want to go ahead and remind everyone we only have Latino Heat war room here, so if it seems that we're favoring Latino Heat in those terms, that's probably why. So, again, uh, we only do have their war room uh, available to us at the moment. But again, we are going to be bringing it back to the game. Is this Hunter is just going to be getting picked right there as this tank decides to commit, Claudia? Yep. It's a dirty with the tank. Yeah, and they're going to be pushing in on the back two survivors right now. We do see that one of the survivors in the front is Pounce. This tank is doing a good job at keeping the three in the back busy, but they are able to get the clear on Bill in the front. Two survivors are now down, though. This tank still has... Yeah, the Horde is coming in. This tank has a lot of damage, or a lot of a lot of HP to do some damage, but Ooh. not going to happen as these survivors are very, very good at backing up and making sure they don't take any additional damage from the tank down to 1,000 HP. So, again... Very good job from Wayne Brady Gamers. It's what we come to expect right now. They're doing their best to clear that horde, and they're going to go ahead and uh, pick up their survivor buddies here. And oh my god, we see a pool going down there, Claudia. Oh my god, this could be a wipe. No, they're fine. Yeah, they got the pickup on the survivor in the back, but that could have been pretty dangerous. They had that pool in the front. That hunter was going to go for that wall kick. And there's that boomer right now, just being a pesky boomer, as I like to call him. Uh, jumping into the mix, not really booming, committing to anything like that, but just... Wanted to get that proxy of a careless survivor pop, but again, of out of uh, these high caliber teams, I don't expect that happening. I just, uh, I uh, you come to expect that they're going to be able to melee boomers and you know avoid all exactly. that silly damage. They did take a lot of damage with that tank though, and he although he did get a bunch of long arms, he missed a couple punches, which were crucial. But great tank overall. Yeah, tanks usually don't want to miss punches that will cause some big damage in the end. Right now we do see an attack trying to do big damage right now as we do see that hunter in the front getting that pounce. Survivor from the top did get pounced lower and right now there is, is a beautiful, beautiful cap. We do see that smoker going down in the back. That hunter in the front completely destroying Lewis. Francis right now doing uh, dealing 
with all kinds of horde with his dualies there. And we do see the smoker in the back with Bill. He is finally able to clear himself from all that horde. Gonna clear the smoker, gonna go pick up his buddy, putting priority on Bill and Goose because they're, I mean, uh, Bill and Lewis because they are very, very low. And oh my god, I think this is the cap, Claudia. Wow. What an attack, wow. Just like that, they are able to kill off Latino Heat. They did have, I uh, do believe that was Griffin bleeding out, so unfortunately they got the clear on the Hunter, but he was not able to stay up and clear everyone else. But man, oh man, that is a... Uh, I just, I mean, I want to point out, because I noticed in the last game, I saw that uh, Latino Heat was being held back by a lot of the common, and again, I don't want to bring up the whole yeah. pain difference. I know you said nobody's complaining, <laughs> but man, yeah. I'm sure it makes a big difference. It as does. Yeah. Especially yeah. since, like, when you play with Griffin, not to sound like, like <laughs> I don't know, that I'm, like, obsessed with him or anything, but he is a pretty good common clearer, and, you know, when you see a couple common, it's like, I don't know what else to blame it on. Oh, yeah, and like, like I said, it's, it's pretty hard, and right now we do see the separators to bite, I mean, uh, uh, separating up here, as we do see that hunter trying to go for that DP, not going to land it, though. Region doing a pretty good job at avoiding damage so far, and I want to go ahead and take a look at the scores as we did join this game late. So oh, yeah. let's go ahead and look, and we do see the Latino Heat is enjoying about a 400 point lead, but we did see him get wiped this map, Claudia. This could be Region's map to make. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was my understanding that nobody really knew much about these Region players as they tra came out before they played them. And uh, let's put that thought on hold as we do see a boomer going in for the free boom, landing on Lewis and Bill. Nice. Uh, a little bit of comment coming in right now. That DP trying to land on one of the survivors not going to happen, and the other DP going to miss as well as he does grab that comp. I mean that uh, ground pounds on Lewis Bill right now, just dealing with all the horde. And again, I uh, just want to go ahead and point out that uh, nobody really knew who these guys were. I mean, uh, you guys have any idea? That you guys... I have. I have no idea who these guys are, but they're doing pretty good. Yeah, I must say that I'm pretty impressed. I I was actually concerned about casting this game. I was wondering what it's going to be worth it, whether or not it was going to be a, a shutout. But it looks like we do have an, an interesting game in front of us, guys. Yeah, so. we do. And we have another map after this, correct? Yeah, we, this is going to be a best of three situation. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. This is going to be going on to map two. Uh, possibly map three of these teams keep playing like this. As we do have an attack going in right now. The hunters are now dead stop, though. That smoker is cleared. And just like that, before it even started, those dead stops shut down that attack. Yeah, they did. And, and that, that boomer. <laughs> That Griffin Boomer, I knew it, I knew it. I didn't even have yeah. to know who was gonna who was gonna die afterwards and see the name, no, because I knew that was a Griffin Boomer. He likes to get pretty fancy with them boomers to say the least, coming from uh, all kinds of crazy angles. Uh, my hat off to him for being able to do that with the boomer. As uh, we now see the survivors sitting at about a 182 health bonus, so uh, very, very comfortable for these survivors as they are yeah. now gonna have to deal with, a, it looks like a quad cap, Claudia. Oh, interesting. Okay, Claudia, I mean, uh, I was going to call it Claudia, <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and take it to Latino Heat War Room. Oh, that, that was extremely close to landing. That was wow. <laughs> they were really, really quiet in the war room. Uh, really? Yeah, like, yes, I don't think I picked up anything in terms of audio, but again. <laughs> Uh, very, very quiet, uh, very focused, I guess, and um, yeah, that was really close, I guess. Uh, they could have pulled one of the survivors that was off to the left, but uh, I saw them pull more towards the middle, towards the stack. They could have mobbed, probably gotten pounced if the hunters would just focus them down, but again, very close. We do see that damage reflecting that uh, the, the health bonus now is uh, down to 170. They're going to have to be dealing with a tank here pretty soon. And tank is up. Tank is up in the hands of Dazer. They're going to go ahead and open that bottom door. The boomers are going to try to get that boom and going to whiff it. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> Not going to land on anyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at who that is. That is going to be a goose. goose. Boomer going to probably have to decide to pull back as we do see that hunter going in. Beautiful 22 damage DP landing on Francis. We did see that smoker trying to pull him too. It did register though, so no problem uh, going on there. Lewis getting pulled back. Just trying to keep him out as far, I mean, as long as possible as... Uh, that boomer did die pretty early, so they want to go ahead and keep side as much as possible. These survivors are really doing a good job at keeping the pressure on with uh, with the spawns being down. They want to go ahead and put all kinds of pressure on that tank and back them up pretty far into that room there. As we... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are now seeing this tank just passing in the hands of Nocturnal. Nocturnal going to be opting to play that hittable, and uh, we're going to be seeing this tank going into that like little burger shop there any moment, so... When this tank gets good and close, I'm going to go ahead and take it to Latino Heat War Room just to figure out what is going through their heads. And uh, let's go ahead and take it there now. So let's go ahead and take okay. it to uh, Latino Heat War Room. Nice. nice. The 
corning up. Multi's here. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, go Set close. Nice. Right Very nice. Those are two in caps right there. There's Francis for the third. Nice tank. It's just Bill. Got a smoker. Piss. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back in Claudia. We did see that team went team. Why don't you let us know? That was a really good tank. Perfect film. What we saw them do is run back, which is I've never really like seen anyone fight it there. And I don't think it really was the best idea for them because they did get multied, but that tank did die and he did do a ton of good damage. So good job. Yeah, they, they did a pretty good job at avoiding the multis. I mean they did see two of the survivors getting multied off in the corner, but uh, as you can see here, they are all bleeding out completely, completely uh, uh, down here in health. And we do see an attack coming in right now. That's Murphy trying to go off in the back. We do see Bill being able to get cleared as Lewis is bounced. That clear going back down on Lewis. The clears in the front are impeccable as well. As we do see that Boomer going in last. Going to be setting Latino up with a quad cap. And uh, yeah, definitely. We don't want to go ahead and remind everyone, as I just got a shout out. That we are accepting shout outs. Feel free to send them my way. Feel free to send, send them to Claudia. And, uh, or in the chat. I am keeping an eye in yeah. the chat. I have two shout outs. Okay, both so. from Zorix. All right. From Zorix. Shout out to all my Left 4 Dead friends for being awesome. Smiley face. And then a shout out to Kush for using the word devastating for a whole lot of attacks. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I like to. I, there's a couple words I like to favor. Somebody's already pointed that out. I'd like to use most devastating. Definitely. Yeah, most definitely. See, I mean, there's a lot of uh, typical. I guess I call them safety words. Safety words are like words I can just call back on. No, I don't know. I guess uh, they make me feel safe. Okay, no, it's gonna. Um, we are gonna be seeing this attack gonna be going in on the choke point here, Cloudy. This is a pretty devastating choke. Yeah, uh, and they're bleeding out. <laughs> Boomer just went in, got a good boom. Yep, slowing down these survivors ever so uh, slightly. And we do see that Smoker going to be able to get that pull if he was quick Ooh. enough. And uh, yeah, it looked like uh, two of the survivors dropped first and then the other two dropped second. And uh, a little scary, uh, but again, Latino Heat, I mean, uh, Region able to get through. Latino Heat not able to actually capitalize on that bit of separation. But again, we will be seeing a push forward into the next choke, which I think is the most horrible, horrible choke in the game. That's probably why the map is known, you know, as being so difficult as it is because of this choke right here. I think, I mean, you're absolutely right. There's no other way that this map would be difficult if it wasn't for that damn near impossible choke. I mean, I've seen teams just, yep. I mean, almost, you could almost go up to this hole with 200 health bonus and I'd still yep. be scared. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And plus, like, with their health bonus right now, it could be really, like, you know, risky and bad. Right, and we did see a witch going down right there. I, I was actually already up top uh, looking for that uh, for that impending attack, seeing how the infected was going to set up for that whole attack. But uh, we did see a witch going in right there. But again, these survivors able to kill it. They were able to drown, draw count it back into the tunnel. So no damage, no uh, fear of anyone going down as a result of that. Right now we do see a bunch coming funneling through the tunnels and uh, we do see that uh, Latino Heat opted to sack that boomer. Yeah, I, I and don't the smoker know. is pulling down. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is the best strategy right now. We do see a beautiful pounce going down into the subway. I mean, into the... Very nice. Yeah, into the sewers here and uh, Lewis able to get that clear, but oh no, oh. that repound's going down. This is going to be pretty oh devastating. God. Francis can die right here if they are not quick to clear him and they are able to clear him. Not before Three, Francis yeah. is going down and oh my god, just like that, they have to go back up the hole and it looked like they were going to be able to get up there too. <laughs> yeah, Francis almost died. Yeah, He's this done. is this is just not looking good for this team already, and we can see why this hole is so hard to get in, get him on top of. And again, we did see a Latino Heat setting up in a bit of an unorthodox way, but again, able to make it work to their advantage, able to sack that boomer early, slowing down sufficiently enough so they could have spawns again, and then with that hunter in cap, uh, it was just GG. Yep, three hunters up top right now, and boomer. Yeah, that's all they need actually. So as long as that yep. boomer lands, I mean. It is just going to be that much more impossible for the Survivor Team being region. And again, my hat's off to them because they put up a valiant effort. As we do see this last Amazing set of hunters going in. Attack. Yeah, picture perfect. There goes Zoe down the hole. She's limp. Bill? <laughs> and, uh, yep. That is it. And just, oh my gosh. just like that. I mean, we, we were talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. And we see a perfect and it example. Happened. Yep. Biggest choke point in this game, I would say. Very crucial. Very interesting. Very and a very nice attack.
Yeah, and almost like I like I said, it almost looked like they were gonna make it. I, I really thought. Yeah, they were gonna make it. I think they they would have been winning if they made it, despite their bad health bonus. And it's funny because that questionable smoker in the bottom that I would have thought, hey, <laughs> what is that gonna do? Actually worked out for them. It allowed it that dual cap. Mm -hmm. So again, good and bad again coming from Latino. You know, I think they were trying with that what they were trying with that smoker because we because tr I was like telling them about it like earlier a couple like months ago and it was like if you pull down at like a certain point at the top it'll go like fall down and take fall damage like enough to end cap them so i mean it could be useful okay so you're telling us you invented that now claudia did you <laughs> no that's good i don't i don't want to sound like i invented it but i no, well do credit brought it up. credit is due where uh do credit is deserved <laughs> so again um we will be seeing a new do play for that team as we do see that beautiful boomer going in right now landing on all three of the survivors uh we do see zoe is the only one who is not boom and again, Regen is going to be starting us off here, Claudia. It's going to be uh, their, uh, their uh, I guess, chance. or It's going to be up to them, pretty much, to set the bar up yep. high. Uh, Very good health bonus after the first attack. And sorry for interrupting you. I feel bad. Uh, no, no, <laughs> if anything, uh, like I said, I welcome it. I welcome having a pretty talkative uh, co-caster here. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. As we do see this attack mm -hmm. setting up here. It's a quad? No, it's a dirty. It is a dirty. They're going to be setting up that boomer in the bottom. We do see that boomer going in on Lewis. He's Hunter setting up for an interceptor. At least pouncing on the ones that are, aren't boomed. And we do see Zoe actually getting cleared rather quick. That actually was pouncing separated in one of the rooms, but that is not the case. As we do see uh, the survivors dealing with an attack uh, not too shabby, I guess, uh, sitting at a 193. Yeah, from a 198. Tank is up in the hands of Dazer. Yeah, Dazer is going to be a pretty good tank. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to pass it, what they're going to do here, because they are going to be deciding to take it into this like open area. I think the only other yeah. place he can take it. Boomer went in. Nice free boom. Right. I By really thought he was going to whip that. Uh-huh. It almost looked like it was too far away. He's but pushing on. You want to do a war room? Maybe? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it to Latino Heat War Room. No drop off. Nice, nice hit. Take that, take the yellow. I don't see him. Oh my god, he was behind me, dude. Got punched. Get out. Head. Yeah, dude. You have all yeah, that you My bad, dude. He like. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you drop down a level. Want me go all the way down? Not all the way, but just one level down. Because really yeah, they're they're ready. They're ready up there. That's why. You could probably go in. Well, we'll see. Oh, they're both. Try, uh, try the boom, we have a pass, we have a pass. Okay. Pass him. And that guy's bleeding. I got it. Oh, a double pass. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have gotten that, I don't know. I got no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I only got one punch. Oh, um, so shit, dude. Two. Where should I go? Okay. Try the boom. Well, do we have time? Yeah, he has really. 95. I, right? I need to commit, you just land this Yeah, we need to commit, okay. I'll, I'll improvise. I'm pulling past you. Okay, go for it. Not gonna work. Instant clear. Just try to take any damage you can. Harassing guns off you. Yeah, take that down. Uh, okay, two bleeders. Alright, and we are back, Claudia, and uh, we did see that tank committing in the hands of Goose. What do you think? What do you think could have been uh, done better? Well, I must say, I did like that free boom by Nocturnal at the beginning. And what it seemed like with the first tank, Dazer, um, it just seemed like he missed point blanks. So I don't even know how to explain it. But um, it was a pretty decent damage, but I don't think if they make it with this health bonus, it's going to be really, like, you know, bad, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad for the other team. Mm -hmm. And it would be good for Regen as uh, they really do need to set the bar up high on this map. And this yeah, is. They do. This is an definitely, amazing health bonus for this map. Yeah, this is the map to do it too, because I mean, this map is uh, notoriously known for being an easy map, or I guess it's notoriously <laughs> easy. I mean, um, it's pretty much just after that tank, if you don't do a lot of damage, then you're pretty much uh, going to be trying to focus down. On, I mean, trying to focus them down with uh, attacks and narrow hallways, and we all know all those aren't usually the best. But again, um, this is going to be uh, 134 health bonus for region. This is exactly what they needed. They need to hang on to it as much as they can. And we do have Phil completely bleeding out, who is NNBO or something like that. <laughs> and uh, again, I apologize for not getting those names correct, because uh, they are very difficult names to pronounce. And it doesn't look like we're going to be yeah, seeing. Uh, these teams uh, or uh, region decided to hold here. They don't want to go in 
I think they could have had time for another attack, but they said no, we're gonna wait. Yep, and it looks like the boomer's gonna come to that little hole by the elevator and get that amazing boom, and then they're gonna go in. Right, you are, and um, I mean, I usually, I, I would have liked to have seen them go in early. I don't know what the what the meaning behind that was, and maybe they're just, you know, they're deciding, hey, you know what, let's, uh, we got the perfect spawns. I don't know if this is just something that, you know, they don't really want to rush at the last second and try to find spawns. Yeah, I was expecting them to go in during the event again and have Boomer die last for a quad because that'd be their only, like, I think, way of wiping them. Unless there's a witch up top. I don't know. That could be interesting. Oh, and as here well. we go. The attack is up. We do see those two Boom survivors in the front. One separate survivor, Bill, right now is not going to get pounced. We do see that attack is pretty much dealt with right now. We do see Soik a little bit ported in the back, but that is not going to be a problem as these survivors are now in the elevator at a 123 health. So uh, it's steadily ticking down just because you know with the survivors they are bleeding out but again not bad for being this far into the map yep i think there's probably going to be a witch up here i don't know it's going to be very, very interesting to see like how they deal with her is there anything you definitely and i do have a shout out coming in from raiden uh from team combat uh shout out to claudia for saying like more than <laughs> anyone i've ever heard so i guess i guess we got our own Lucky. little favorite words here right yeah Right again. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't mind it. I like these words. So you don't like them? Like them yeah. Whatever. And they have a standard up. I think they're gonna attack as soon as they come out for damage. Let's see. Yeah, they, they most likely are. I'm gonna be more interested in where this boomer is actually gonna set up as we do see him uh, looking like he's gonna go for that boom on the right. Mm -hmm. Gonna be going any moment now. That boomer is now up. Here comes that smoke, or actually that smoker is now up, and we do see Amazing that boom. Amazing attack. Yeah. That, I was perfectly synced. And look at that, we do see that Boomer right now doing his part and getting that horde nice and uh, thick into the mix. And uh, that pull going down on Bill momentarily. Again, nice damage for that little choke coming in from Latino Heat. And that is exactly what they need. But again, these survivors are still pretty, pretty good in a 106. But again, anytime I think you get them underneath that 100 threshold, I think you're pretty safe. I think exactly. Latino Heat... Yep. Latino Heat is a pretty, I'm pretty sure confident they can at least pull off a 120 on this map again. This is not a, something I am for sure of, though. I do know that there is going to be an attack, though, as this Hunter is getting caught out of position. That other Hunter almost there to cover him, as we do see that Smoker trying to get a pull off to the side. Not going to land, though. That Boomer getting that proxy boom on Francis right now. Those scratches are going to go down. Wow, 20 health bonus right there. Rob, almost 30. <laughs> oh, my God. And talk about dropping the ball. Yeah. We did see that they were about to make it into uh, the safe room with about 100, and that would have been ideal for them, about uh, decent for Latino Heat. And now that uh, after that attack, it, the tides have turned completely. Now it's really good for Latino Heat that they got into 72, and uh, mm -hmm. not as great for uh, region here. Yeah, so basically, if Latino Heat makes it, all they need is like a 300, 400, okay, what's 700 health bonus? Or, no, 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 I no, guess no, no. not. <laughs> <laughs> they need 700 about 700 points correct. to win. So again, uh, they yep. they could just make it, and um, yeah, they can uh, they can just make it, and they'll be in a pretty good, and they'll be in pretty good shape here. And um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, their their uh, map to make here. So again, it's up to them. They gotta really deal with this a tank or this a tank, this attack and this tank very perfectly. Uh, Obviously, they don't want to fall victim to any silly damage. We do have this first attack coming out the door right now. Those two hunters trying to get those wall kicks, a scratch going down. But other than that, that damage is now done. There is uh, no more damage to speak up there. There is no more response, Claudio. I know, and Goose was the only one to take damage. So he is four punches, and the rest of his team is five punches for the tank. Watch it, Bill. Yeah, definitely, and uh, I actually have a shout-out right now. I'm going to go ahead and read it in between okay. the things, and uh, we do have a shout-out coming in from Mari. Shout-out to Kush and Claudia for casting Heart Heart, sir. Aw, Cass. Nice. Heart Heart, back to you. Yep, Kush is cool, Cass. I think we have a lot of Ks going through here. We have a lot of Hunters coming in right nice now. Nice attack, wow. Nice boom, nice pounce, nice smoke. Oh, my goodness. That was beautifully, beautifully done as that. That tank is in play right now. He's going to be able to at least oh. get this rock. Oh, my oh. goodness. That really rock close. was just, oh, my God, right there. Right there, yeah. Claudia. On the bright side, though, they are all, like, you know, four punches now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said that earlier, but that's good for the tank. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, um... I was gonna say though that that is just uh, absolutely devastating though. That was a lot of damage going down right there on that door. We did see two of them getting pounced outside. That boomer getting the boom on all three of them when that third survivor went outside to clear the two that were pounced, and then uh, that pull going down as well, just delaying them there even further. And if that rock would have landed, oh my goodness, that would have just been insult to injury. 
as uh, oh. we are going to be seeing this tank in the hands of Mick now. I really wish we had a war room for them. I really want to hear mm -hmm. what's going on with them. And as you see in Spectre, I don't know if people could see it, but everyone's like, ooh, make tank. I don't know, maybe he's really good. But he got no sp spawns, I mean, or support, whatever. And it's about to go AI, that's not good. Yeah, this is a relatively uh, silly thing to do here. You do not want to take all kinds of yeah, damage like you are this doing is here. It's awful because they needed to get, like, you know, that health bonus down, and it's about to go AI. Right, and he is just trying to keep it, trying to keep it, trying to keep it. But again, without that uh, support, I don't see how long he can keep this up right now as he does get that punch on Lewis, punch on Zoe. This is going to be pretty devastating if he's able to continue this way. We just see two of the survivors right there corner and cornered up. And, uh, Punches missing, wow. Whiffing him, whiffing him, whiffing him. And uh, again, was that second pass, Claudio? Why was he out there that for days? That was the second pass. Um, I think, I don't blame that on the tank at all. Maybe it was miscommunication, but those spawns went in way too early. Maybe they should have waited for him to push on. Yeah, people were rather excited again. We didn't know who this team was. I yeah, mean, we don't know. I don't know who this team was. Maybe people just know who that person is as opposed to just the overall team. But, yeah. I mean, they were excited for that tank and uh, it kind of fizzled there. Hey, yeah, exactly. And it's kind of funny because it's like the same health bonus as uh, Region had. We'll see if they take as much damage as they did though. Correct you are, and we did see a nice looking attack coming in right there, but not doing that much in terms of damage as we do see now uh, Latino Heat sitting at about a 147. None of them are completely bleeding out, so that is absolutely ideal for any survivors after a tank. Absolutely, uh, you do not want to be bleeding out. Um, again, uh, we did see Goose bleeding out, but I guess that was just kind of like a premature pop, so he didn't get slowed and uh, into an end cap. He didn't want to bleed later on into the game, as uh, we should be seeing an attack coming in here yep. momentarily. That boom is missing this uh, boom there. He is going to be going in now, getting that boom on two of the survivors. Nice little bunny hops on Saving loose. Saving for quad, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that does look like it's going to be a save. There was just uh, nothing else after the fact. And actually, we do hear some hunters off the side, but... Uh, yeah, deciding not actually no, I wasn't hearing hunters. I think I'm just <laughs> I'm just hearing things pushing. myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, here comes that horde right now, really just slowing them down. This quad cat could be potentially dangerous if they decide to oh, roll it right no now. Oh, uh, it is gonna be a boomer. That smoke is trying to get the pull out. Not gonna happen though. <laughs> that SI just gonna have to back out now as uh, the survivors are completely out of danger and in the elevator. So again, I wanna go ahead and take this opportunity to remind everyone that this game is being brought to you by the nice guys at four players. They were actually able to uh, put this tournament up uh, for these teams to compete. So good. A big shout out and a big thank you out to them. Yeah, agreed. Because I was reading uh, some of the stuff he posted on the groups, and he's making another tournament after this. Oh, that's it's like awesome. custom campaign. So that's good, everyone. Sign up and start playing again. Yeah. It sucks that this game is dead. Yeah, this game's a really awesome game. As you can see, it still it has is. quite a following of uh, diehard fans. And um, I like it. I like casting it. So, again, mm -hmm. for anyone who supports the community is always a good guy in my book. So, again, please support the guys out at uh, fourplayers.de. I do believe that is their website. Check them out. Do anything you can to support them. And uh, here we go. We have an attack coming in right now. We do see that Boomer getting that boom off on two of the survivors. Smoker going to try to get the pull off in the front on Lewis. Not going to land it, though, as we do see that Pounce landing on Francis. Right now, the survivors are just going to be cleaning out the horde as they did clear out the first or the rest of the attack. But um, yeah, again, Claude, I just want to go ahead and uh, point that out because I, I don't feel like I've pointed it out often enough. I think I feel like uh, I really didn't have a feel for who put the tournament together. I know that four <laughs> players had something to do with, you know, the rules and everything yeah. like that. But um, I didn't know to what extent they were involved in. So this is actually uh, them putting everything together. So again, a big thank you out to them. Uh, yeah. For doing this and uh, again another attack probably gonna be coming in and a uh, nice shutdown is coming in from Latino Heat mm -hmm. It seems like they're really working hard to shut down attacks to in this game And they did it right because they have a 122 health bonus and they're gonna make the map See big difference from what we saw from mm -hmm. Latino Heat and from what we saw from yeah, region Yeah, exactly We did see region taking a whole ton of damage after tank and no, I mean uh, and no mercy here and uh you know, pretty much Latino Heat doing the exact opposite of that, avoiding all kinds of damage after the tank. So only losing 20 health bonus from here in the tank, uh, giving them a grand total of 1,320 for that map. And I do believe that is going to be the game winning of the yeah, map. Yeah, it is. So congrats to Latino Heat or Wayne Brady Gamers on the first map. They're going to go play uh, Blood Harvest now.
right you are this is going to be a best of three so they are not out of the woods yet they need to beat this team again and i kind of like the best of three format i've mentioned it i before. do like it too mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's it really just uh i mean i feel like sometimes you feel like oh man i just got a bad beat man if that would have been <laughs> a little bit different um this really does feel like it's a lot more of a solid uh showing of who deserves a win so i think so it gives people a second chance and so on definitely we're just going to go be be waiting to, I don't know if we're going to another server. Uh, I think so. Alright, well, game should be back in like three minutes, I don't know. Right, right, right. right, right. And, uh, I have to go get a drink and I'll be right back, okay? Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead and keep it here as we are waiting for the conclusion of this match right now. We will be waiting for that server switch. And, again, let me go ahead and take a look at where these guys are going. Does look like we're going to be seeing Blood Harvest though. So regardless of the server, we will be seeing Blood Harvest coming up next. And uh, yeah, give me one second, guys, as uh, we are trying to connect. Just waiting for that going down. And um, if you guys have, again have any shoutouts, feel free to send them my way. Feel free to send them Claudia's way, or feel free to put them in the chat. We will read those. And um, yeah, just waiting on everyone else. It looks like Dazer and myself are the only ones waiting in this game. And uh, finally, finally do see that uh, this person is uh, going to leave. Okay, and um, going to be waiting. You're going to go ahead and uh, run a quick doozy here. But yeah. <laughs> I have a shout out coming in. Going to go ahead and read it after I run this commercial. There we go. What is a shout out? Let's see. Shout out to Chew. You're a cool guy, I guess. Ha ha ha. Ha. Cool. Anyways, you know what would be cool if we can get information on where the hell this game is going to be played. I'll go ahead and uh, pop into one of the mumbles here. Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pop into one of the mumbles. All right. I'm back. All right. We are still live. We're going to be waiting for the conclusion of this game. So trying to see where the hell we're going to go in terms of a new server. Is the cast like still going on? Because I have some shout outs. Yeah, 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 we're live, so you can go ahead and get those. All right, so shout out from Mo to, and he said, shout out, go, wait, hold on, hold on, I messed that up. Okay, yeah, shout out person. from Mo, go heat, show the, okay. Because <laughs> he, okay, hold on, I'm going to try this again. Shout out from Mo to Latino Heat, go heat, show them how the Americans roll. Yay. Aw, damn. And then shout out from Zorix to um, Raiden for being an old fart, but he's kidding, of course, because they're friends. All right, definitely. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was actually still waiting in the server, and uh, that's what it was keeping them from doing it. They they don't have a admin to change the map, so instead they just uh, kind of yeah they go into you. lobby. Okay, so mm -hmm. well, they they just joined the server right now. I'm gonna join. But there's failed to join session because the session did not have enough slots. Hmm. Maybe once the exec roto, I don't know. Yeah, you just gotta view the game info, refresh it a couple of times, and I don't know. These European servers right. are a little bit different for me for some reason too. But um, I am getting an invite. <laughs> it from, is. Let's see. There we go. We are gonna be getting in there, or at least I'm getting in there, and I have a couple of shoutouts of my own to get to here as soon as. Uh, let me see here. It looks like I have one from Danny. <laughs> Shout out to Claudia. Uh, red lobster question mark. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> oh, want to go Danny. to red lobster? Want to go to red lobster? Is what it said. There you go. Not just red lobster question mark. He's he's full on asking the question, girl. Let's see. <laughs> sure, Danny. Anything for you? All right. And then right. I have a shout out from uh, Frick. I don't want to swear. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> Shout out from Raiden to Zorax. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ooh. I don't uh. know what time it is, but it is like 3.16. <laughs> it's 5.16. <laughs> yeah, it was like 3.16 over here, and then it is just like way too uh, way too early to not uh, be going to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, I, I actually have the same shout out from Mo. Shout out, go, heat, show them how the Americans roll. And then I have a shout out from Cast to Danny. Want to go to Red Lobster? Ha, ha, ha. JK. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. If we can get any good shout outs, feel free to send them my way. Feel free to send them the cloud. No, that's kidding. <laughs> we are going to be uh, waiting for this game. And I think my thing is. Oh, there we go. Okay. We are uh, back there. I couldn't. Uh, I had to press escape and deal with this whole nonsense here. But we are back. And again, guys, if you guys uh, want to go ahead and uh, keep this game up or uh, keep this game alive as, we do, as alive as we do, go ahead and uh, share this cast with the rest of your friends. Go ahead and. 
post a link wherever you can. Anyone who knows or who you know likes Left 4 Dead, feel free to send them this link and uh, make sure to follow and stream and uh, join the group for information on further casts and stuff as we do see that this game is finally on its way, Claudia, and uh, we will be seeing yeah. Team Regent Blood Harvest. I love Blood Harvest. Such a good, you know, match campaign. Oh, yeah. match oh, yeah. map, whatever. Definitely. I think it's just fun overall. I mean, like... This first attack? Ah, oh, I love it. Let's see how they play it. There's some kind yeah, there's of military very... There's lots of options here. that teams can go... Uh, that uh, teams can go here for, and uh, I don't know why my game just got so bright, but again, we, we will be seeing the survivors team pushing forward up the Sounds hill, and again, me. this is going to be Latino Heat dealing with the first attack, and we do see that Boomer trying to go in. <gasps> nice pop. Not going to land on anyone. That was uh, really close, and it didn't get anywhere yeah. there. And they do have a lot of common up there, and since it is only like what 15 seconds for spawn timers, you should see the squad soon. Ooh. Yeah, I absolutely love that from the European side. Is mm -hmm. that the shorter spawns are just? I love it. it. It gives me a lot more to go more get used to too, in terms of just knowing where they're gonna attack. I almost have a memory of where attacks can be possible as you shut down. Wherever. If you shut it down here, you know where your attack's gonna be. But now it's just with the shortest spawn time. Is I feel like there's gonna be attack all the time. As we do see those hunters opting to spawn up in the front, that is actually really far up ahead. Yep, they're taking their time clearing common. I think we're gonna wait for them to push towards the common. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the smart thing to do. As we do now see these hunters crouching, that one hunter is making his way in. He did get skeeted. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. It looked like it was going to land, but unfortunately we also saw that that smoker pool did get pounced into. That's kind of been the repeating, uh, almost like a broken record here. Uh, just smokers getting their pools pounced. Uh, it's been happening on and off, on and off, every game that you've been passing. And uh, always unfortunate when you see something like that go down. Yeah. And then I have a shout out from Cass to Chew. Want to go to a gay bar? Uh. Uh -oh. <laughs> and uh, I also have a shout out. Shout out from uh, Nib. Shout out to Claudia. Thanks for not sounding like Henry B. <laughs> That's a little mean as we do now see this attack coming in right now. That boomer landing in on Francis. This horde is coming in from the window, from the door, on into the trailer. We are going to be waiting for this attack again. And it looks like uh, Team Region here going to be opting for another quad cap. Yeah, they are. And Tank should be up soon, so we'll see how they play it. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Tank is up. Oh, we do have the tank up, and it is going to be in the hands of John Jones. <laughs> John Jones. <laughs> John Jones. As we do now see this tank committing. It looks like, actually, no, not committing. I thought I heard the ground shaking. That attack just committed. The hunter did pounce uh, for a good amount of time. The hunter tried to, I mean, the smoker tried to get a pull back. But again, nice clear is coming in from Latino Heat. Still sitting at a 189 health for this. And um, I was going to mention that uh, while I was playing with uh, Killator a couple of times, he did mention his... Uh, dislike for, for quad caps because even though they do have a tendency to end the game with a survivor are kind of unaware they don't see it coming they you know they don't focus down 100 or something they they, they they do have a downside of just not causing very much damage if at all if they fail but they're, they're I think the trade off is pretty high and uh, I think we've been seeing the results of what happens when they fail because Latino he's just sitting at that 189 health bonus only lost 11 health bonus since it's uh since they've started and that tank is coming in here to change that gonna try and drop that health bonus even more as we do see that tank committing right now we do see bill and francis right now trying to avoid the tank as we do see the rest of the survivors completely boomed francis i mean uh zoe and lewis are boomed on zoe did get pulled right now we do see that tank is almost dead trying to get those last remaining punches able to get one Last punch on Zoe, but again, then it's a, the survivor's actually going down. Not, not so bad here, uh, Claudia. Um, yeah, I see that's a really good tank if you press tab and look at the spread, but I think he should have just went for, like, a, you know, a cap and then went in, or, like, you know, for the others. Yeah, because if you... To get more people off his back. I know? have to agree with you, because if you, if you have all four shotguns up on you the whole time, it is going to kill you very, very quickly, and it mm -hmm. makes a big difference to be able to take one of those guns out of the equation if you have an attack trying to take some of that health bonus out of the equation, and a nice 14 damage DP landing on Zoe being played by Days with that horde completely surrounded knock right now as he's doing his best to try and clear that his teammates as well another dp going to be coming in any moment now that dp coming in on knock not going to be able to land on him though i think it was more nice intended for zoe and oh my goodness beautiful intercept they are underneath 100 health bonus and knock is down knock is down and he is up in a very difficult place again and actually not that difficult at all we do see the floating lewis uh flying lewis saving his buddy there <laughs> 
as we do now see constant pressure from this infected team right now getting yeah. that boom and a dp is coming on i know we can see a pretty dangerous dp if it is deciding to commit it does look like it is going to commit last That's second and oh my goodness nice nice 25 damage dp landing on knock right there away. He got away, no way. And he got another pounce on that. Uh, another 8 damage DP. They are just absolutely picking Latino Heat apart right now. We do see a forward pull going down on Bill, I don't that believe. That was a quad, yeah, but it was kind of unsynced. But really good damage at the end there. Yeah, definitely. We do see the results of what can happen if a quad, even if it comes close to landing. If it comes close to landing, you're going to do damage. If it doesn't land at all, you're not going to do anything. So. Oh, yeah, and about quads, I honestly think that quads are pretty amazing, even if you get them, like, nowadays, especially since, you know, everyone knows how to play the game, like, you know, good players. And it's just amazing if you, like, get that one stumble and the whole team just gets quad, and I think that's, uh, I love seeing that. Oh, my God, it is so awesome when you're able to pull it off. The sheer excitement of uh, just not knowing and just wondering, like, did everyone land? Did you get yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, and even the, the the couple times where I've been that hunter, they just you know they still pouncing around trying to find that last yeah, target. They're like oh, they're like oh my god, get him, get him, get him. That is probably the most like I think hardest part of the quad. <laughs> yeah, being the last hunter. Oh, it is so terrible. I mean, I just I know I love flying at the pack and just there's been those times where you fly at the pack, the big group of them, and you go right through them because everyone else pounced everyone mm -hmm. else. And exactly. Like, oh man, <laughs> but yeah, they are fun to see and fun to land as we do see an attack right now gonna be uh pretty much thwarted it looked like they were gonna be going for an early yep. attack but uh and boomer's gonna die last yeah they decided not to go in first as we do see this uh hunter right now is gonna almost get picked we do see that smoker trying to go in first uh those hunters are gonna be setting up for those dps right now there goes one of the hunters landing nice an 18 damage. damage dp nice cover from that other hunter and that almost almost looks like they were setting up for a death pull there <laughs> but not exactly where it was meant to be as that last hunter does decide to pounce loose so good amount of chip bringing him down oh, to a 190 <laughs> and look at that three i mean uh two of the survivors are not boom that is Zoe and that is lewis and a good amount of damage going to be landing already claudia that was a 190 yeah. health bonus and steadily going down and we'll see if um latino heat's able to get the quad cap before bridge like the other team had yeah, most definitely. It's going to be really, really, really interesting to see if they can. Right now, we will be seeing the Survivor team trying to do their best to push forward right now, pushing through all kinds of comments. They're going to have to be dealing with an attack right now. Don't know if this is going to be the best of ideas to decide so to push. And oh my oh goodness, my that god. is going to be a quad cap! Oh my god! Oh, wow. Oh Third my quarter. god. So really close. close. yes. Devastatingly close, and uh, we yeah. we see amazing damage though. Yeah, that was a recipe for disaster out of the survivor team. They were deciding to push forward during a quad cap in the horde. I mean, uh, oh my God, you cannot ask for a more perfect opportunity. They were basically were yelling, "Please quad us!" At that point. Yeah, when they pushed into those common. Yeah. That's the one thing you didn't see Latina Heat do. They stayed back, took their time, pushed slowly, and counter example was them just pushing into it. Right, 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 and uh, you can see that they were able to avoid the wipe, but they were not able to avoid the damages. They are now sitting at a 153, and with this attack going in before the tank, they are completely getting devastated again, just because we do see two of the survivors that are boomed in the trailer getting completely hoarded on right now. That tank off in the back, looking like he's going to throw a rock right now, and there's two survivors very susceptible to getting rocked right now, especially if there's spawns up to support them. Yeah, it's in the hands of Dazer. Pretty much full HP. Yeah, and a full HP tank. It is a very dangerous tank. It's Boomer going in right now. Nice boom. Yeah, he's probably going to push in. Do you want to do a war room in a bit? Yes, we will. And uh, once that tank decides to commit, yeah. as it is now going in, so let's go ahead and take it there, Claudia. One's <laughs> on the. Uh, let's go, Knock. One down, two pounds. Multis right there. Take that. Oh. What? I got a smoke. So lucky, man. How, how do you. Ah! Oh, random clear, what the fuck? Pick up a rock. Yeah. Nice. Good. Nice. Good tank. Nice. nice. Excellent tank. You know, that's the second time you've wiped him there. Alright, and we are back, and oh my goodness. What an amazing tank. Wow, wow, wow. Good job. Yeah, very good job coming out of Latino Heat right now, making sure that they are able to get the wipe, extending that lead off early, as we do now see them pulling ahead 628 to 56. So, uh. Oh, wow, I can't get over that tank. That was really good.
I was kind of worried when he was like, he had like 1k left and that smoker died. I was like, oh no, but good job. Yeah, nice. a little bit of a tank play. A little bit of a scary situation there, but again, Latino Heat, it would have pulled on ahead. It would have really just pretty much avoid all that uh, all that damage there. And again, we will be seeing uh, this ready up going down momentarily here. So again, we will be seeing Region, Region going up for survivors. All right, and um, let's see here. Survivor's going to be opting to pretty much uh, push out the door. Nothing to do too out of the norm here. They could look back in the back rooms for the pistol. Uh, so they, uh, that is the only thing they could really pick up in the game. So, again, I don't know if they're going to decide to do that. They are going to do that. They're going to look in the back for that pistol. Nothing there. Just deciding to actually uh, try and pick that hunter as that hunter decided to spawn up pretty early, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we do have a witch. Oh, interesting. We'll see how they play it. It looks like they're setting up on the witch. Yeah, I'm trying to look for her. I can't even find her. And uh, She's um by the boomer, straight ahead of them. Oh, I They're see pushing her. her right now. All right, so I see that that boom is going in. Now, that we do see that witch is going to get crowned go. by Francis. And, it's kind of uh, weird how they didn't go in. I don't know. Just that boomer went in. It kind of seemed like he was waiting for, I don't know, mm -hmm. pounce to land or something. Cause I don't know. Yeah, it took him a while to crown. I don't know. They could have definitely intercepted that right now. We do see a hunter going in on the bottom on John Jones. He is able to get the melee. John Jones. John Jones for uh, region. I guess he changed his name just so he would give me a better time of trying to pronounce it. <laughs> so John Jones actually able to get that dead stop. We did see that in his first person. We do see that the uh, European team here. Or actually, this is a. Uh, I hope it was European. I don't, I don't know. Basically, the region team going to be deciding to take it into the into this uh, little front room right now. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the best of spots. We do see that boom coming in around the back, getting that proxy boom on Zoe. That pounce coming in for the top. On Lewis, nice little yep, uh, stumble there. Slashes. Yeah, nice smoker uh, ninjing his way in through Bill's door. <laughs> and uh, pushing. they are going to be pushing now, pretty much avoiding Tank's a lot up. of damage. And there goes the tank. The tank is up now. Um, I don't know if that's considered rushing the event. I don't know if it's over because I still do hear that bell. But they are able to bring that tank up. And uh, if that event is still going, it is going to definitely be in the favor of Latino Heat. As that yeah. horde is going to be uh, all over them. And um, I have a shout out coming in from Mari. Shout out to Danny. Stop talking to uh, birds. I think what did you say? Stop talking to the cows and bees. So whatever that means. Oh my god! And his mic. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That microphone inside the. That is uh, one crazy microphone. As we do see one crazy tank being played by Nocturnal for setting to commit. So let's go. Want to do a um, mumble? Yep. Let's go ahead and take it to that world. Third, he's stripping you. You have nothing right now, so any damage you get will be good. I'll take that, take that down. That sucks the forklift got in up there. Yeah. Dude, I missed the point blank. Alright, and we are back, and uh, oh my goodness, not the kind of tank the Latino Heat wanted to play there, but uh, that is the hand that they were dealt, and um, they got to really step it up to try to put some chip on this uh, survivor team now, uh, Claudia. Yeah, agreed. Yep. They have a really good health bonus. Yeah, but pretty Ooh, devastating. 25. And there we go, just like that, we do. Oh my god, another 25. Double 25s to bring down the health bonus, just like that. Just like we said it, we're like, okay, we, they need to <laughs> put on the pressure, and here it comes. They... Yep. 165 to a 138 or 139. Oh, that is great. That hurts. That hurts. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful uh, health bonus like that, and just like that, double DP, bam, bam, and uh, yeah. down the toilet. But again, still pretty good. Still really respectable a health bonus at a 138, you know? But, yeah, uh, it is pretty good. Yeah, and like, I mean, I'm only, I would be mad, obviously, if it went down from that much to that much. But, I mean, for the most mm -hmm. part, this is still it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. They just need to make sure they don't split here. It looks like they're running up ahead of a lot of this common. It's still not cleared. Nice and, uh, yeah, nice key going down by Bill. And he's also able to get that clear on that smoker. That is going to be the, the end of that attack as the boomer. Attracts his waddle his way in from the back. The last second of the pass of uh, the pills does bring the health bonus back up to a 133. Giving them a grand total of 1,204 for that map. And, uh, well, would you look at that boom? Shut the fuck up, Chu. Oh, now we're gonna have to be seeing if uh, Latino he could actually pull something off of that sort, or at least of that same caliber. Yeah, they would have gotten a lot more points if they kept that bonus, but really good health bonus in general. 
Most definitely, and uh, we are going to be waiting to see uh, what Latino Heat decides to do here. They are going to be looking in the back for that pistol. I don't believe there was anything, uh, so they don't have to go back there. But again, <coughs> maybe I uh, wanted to see if there was a pre-spawn uh, spawn or something like that. Let's see how they play the switch. It's going to be fairly interesting. Uh, we can even take it to a war room if you want to go ahead. You want to? Let's do it. Let's go ahead. Rush it straight up. Uh-huh. I'm pulled down. Bounce. Just bounce. <laughs> and we are wow. back. Yeah, Zoe is so lucky for getting pulled off because that, that's what saved her from the witch. <laughs> Pretty much, I mean, there's been a couple times where I've just, it seems to happen more often now. I don't know if teams are just setting up on the witch more or what, but it seems like there's been way too many times where I see a witch just not hit her target because yeah. of an SI if he's coming up in god mode or whatever it may mm -hmm. be and uh, yeah very very lucky turn of events there for Zoe as she was able to get pulled down right now being played by Daisy as you see that Broom grinding that stumble off in the back that Hunter landing on two of the nice survivors damage. in the front nice stumbles as well as we do see that damage mm -hmm. bringing down that hook when it's down to a 179 so good chip right there for being that they're in a room Again, usually not the best part or not the best spot for an SI team to try and get damage, but again, we do see that uh, Regen doing the best they can and uh, making sure that they can do that. And uh, we see that tank is now up in the hands of John Jones. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they decide to do. Man, John Jones is such a manly ass name. That sounds like, it a, is. It sounds like a boxer. <laughs> John does. Jones. And in the red corner we have John Jones. Anyways. <laughs> and they're running back to the safe room. Ooh, almost a pull off. Yeah, that was almost a pull off. And we did see that Hunter setting up for that intercept. Not going to be able to land on anyone as that Boomer <laughs> tries to go in and not going to land on anyone as well. That Hunter tries to get some scratches. He usually would get a good amount of them as we do see that tank right now trying to throw that rock through the window. Not going to land on anyone. And these survivors are grabbing those Uzis right now doing some oh, long distance damage. And oh my oh, goodness. Wow. Devastating damage going down on Nocturnal. That is absolutely oh positively horrific right now. He did pop his pistol. He's going to do a good job at a pretty much staying up right now. But a multi going down. I don't think that was a multi. That was just a single going down on Zoe. Amazing attack. Amazing tank. Oh, my God. It, it really looked like it was going to be a tank where, say, it wouldn't have been the best. I mean, if it was going to do damage, it wouldn't have been a wipe. But now that the tank is in play like this, it could very well be that wipe that they, we thought was going to be avoided. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a wipe after that pull. It just seems like he missed a lot of punches, but really good oh damage my goodness. enough to put them in the lead. Yeah, definitely. And Dazer's almost dead. We do see that Dazer's almost dead. If he dies, this is going to definitely extend that lead by uh, as much as Regen would like. And again, we did see that damage being set on by the fact that Nocturnal was pulled forward. And uh, oh my goodness. That was yeah, he took all his health. He went to like ton health. I am very... Pleased with how they like adapted to the situation. Oh yeah, kill the tank. Definitely, we did see the Nocturnal deciding to pop his pills. He knew that in a situation mm -hmm. like that, he could Good not job. afford to go down. Yep. With spawns being up and all that, it would have been an easy wipe situation. So he popped his pills. He avoided going down. They made sure that they put as much damage on the tank as they could after the fact. And uh, pretty much that's what did it. I mean, we did see those spawns. Quad cap. Oh, we do have a quad cap right now. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, we can't really go to the war room. So <laughs> yeah. let's just go ahead just and watch it. stay here, pay extra attention as we do see this <laughs> quad cap coming <laughs> nice in right now. Nice pull oh. going for that separation. I know the, these hunters are very capable Everyone of landing. And <laughs> yeah, they were just kind of jumping around. It kind of looked like they were going in for distraction for a boomer that never came. Yeah. That was just a quad cap, <laughs> though. But. Uh, Good damage, good health, well bad health bonus, but good for the infected. They still do have like a couple more attacks and they're all like so low they could just like kill them with the next couple attacks. Yeah, we do yeah. see that be Griffin. interesting to watch. Yeah, Griffin just popped his pills because he is black and white. We are going to be probably waiting to see another black and white before Latino. He decides mm -hmm. to commit those second set of pills. But again, quite an interesting match we have set before us, guys. And uh, again, Latino Heat doing their best to just survive this map now. They just got yep. destroyed by a tank. Going to be dealing with an attack right now as that smoker tries to get a pull off in the back. That boomer going to be going in for that boom on the oh, middle of the map. The and uh, oh my goodness, there's just all kinds of damage going down. Lewis is down in the front. Uh, looks like uh, that is Zoe down in the yeah, back. Knock if he goes down again, won't he be black and white? Yes, he will be black and white. If oh, he's, he's not, about to go. Ooh, just one, one hit away. That would could have been <laughs> one pistol, honestly. But at this point, again, mm -hmm. they are just very, very, very. very they're, they're hanging on in the thread. They're like, as Bulls would say, they are <laughs> they were hanging on by the skin on their teeth.
when, when Bull said that, I was like, oh, that's kind of gross. And then I thought about it, I was like, oh, yeah, there is like a little bit of skin. Mm -hmm. there. I, got, I don't know. Just something <laughs> funny. I thought I'd say is uh, we do have an attack coming in right now. Coming in from nice the back. Pull forward. That smoker is going to get a nice pull nice forward. Bounces. Oh, my goodness. Knox, black and white, I think now. I don't know. Yeah, that is going to be a black and white on Knox. We did see him go Griffin down. Griffin and Dazer, black and white. Or actually, I do not know if he's going to be black and white because he never yeah. went down to that oh, tank. Oh, yeah, he popped those pills. He That's popped right. those pills. We do see that that boomer is actually able to get that proxy on Francis. So they're still dealing with all kinds of horde. And even though that horde isn't doing damage, it's doing its damage yeah. in terms of just slowing up the damage. Exactly, and they're bleeding out, and that's what you want. <laughs> and and they have, uh, I think they might have one more attack over here. Yeah, one more attack, if they're lucky, will do the sort of damage that they desire. We do see that Hunter is spawned up in the back. Hunter is spawned up in the front. Three of them are in the tunnel, though. Here it comes. That Hunter does land on Zoe momentarily. That other Hunter nice deciding kill. to go in for the scratches. Not going to land on anyone. That's what we're trying to get Look a pull off in the back. <laughs> and, oh, my goodness. 19 health bonus. That is just as low as it can go. Yep. Uh, is Goose black and white? No, he's not. So they might opt to drop him. Uh, I don't think they can drop him, though. Yeah, I, think the rules, I don't think you can. Yeah, this far up into the map, they cannot drop him. Of course, if uh, you are not familiar with the rules, you can you can down, or if you're not familiar with the game, you can down a survivor, and when he gets back up, he'll have a little bit more health bonus than, say, if he went in with just the 10 or the 5 or the 1 that he went in with. But in this tournament, it is illegal to do so after the 90% uh, mark of the map. So. Uh... After right. ninety percent of the map, they cannot do it. Oh wow! So I think Latino Heat's losing by forty-seven points. <laughs> Ouch! Really close game. Yeah, that is a very, very, very close game, and uh, really pretty much anyone's game at this point. As we are just going to be, mm -hmm. we are going to be seeing. Looks like uh, Latino Heat going to be going forward. I mean, going first for this. In, I mean, for uh, Latino Heat here uh, for the Survivor Team. As, uh, yeah, they gotta set the bar up high. They really gotta just, uh, put on the pressure here with their infected and really gotta make sure that they get this high health bonus because, uh, Latino Heat, uh, right now not enjoying the lead, doesn't have the luxury of saying that, uh, we can just sit back, relax, and, uh, exactly play it slow here. And again, and these are, yeah, these are the two last maps, and it could be make it or break it. Most definitely. I mean, I would like to see a map three situation. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> more left for dead is more fun for me. But again, this is going to be one of those things where what I want is going to be completely different from what Latino he wants. He want to get this game done over and out uh, of the way. And a win How do you for them. think the infected is going to play this first attack? Well, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any early witch, but there's always that risk. I mean, if they decide to save some of the spawns mm -hmm. for the witch, I can understand Because it that, seems, but... yeah, it seems like they're saving it until, like, the end. Interesting attack. Yeah, I mean, uh, usually you don't see a team setting up in this particular yeah, fashion. Yeah, you don't. Like in this end hall thing. So, again, got to give it up to uh, Regan for thinking outside the box, to say the least. <laughs> and uh, we did see something similar, actually. we did, I do remember Korjerk. Uh, back in the ID days, he called something similar, but he waited for it to be outside where the common would be more of a factor. Ah, he wanted, yeah. He wanted to get a pull forward, followed by that boomer in the front, and the hunters coming the, the, from the back. And it actually worked out quite a few times. Disappointed that it didn't really uh, make uh, more of an appearance in some of our strats. But again, uh, we are going to be seeing uh, Latino Heat Think pushing so? out. Oh, yeah, yes, I got that corner right. attack. is not even going to be able to land as pretty as it looked to see it land. That is going to be an attack coming in right now. That hunter nice in the front. Houses. And oh, my God. Nice separation. Looks like damage for days on those hunters alone. It shouldn't have done anything. Just Yeah, wow. Yeah, all kinds of damage landing on on that. And uh, we do see another make tank. And after what happened last, I don't think that uh, this is going to be... Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, let's just hope he gets the support he needs this time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I just... I want to make sure that uh, this tank gets the justice that he so deserves as people have been pretty excited about it and uh, they actually did a good job of getting me excited for it. As, uh, now I will <laughs> oh, see it passed. Oh, and we are not going to be seeing a big tank. This is going to be a uh, mercenary. So mercenary, thank you for having such an easy name to read. <laughs> it actually just is that one person that Inbo. Yeah, John Jones, Make, and Mercenary. And then there's like an NBO. Enbo. <laughs> Wants to be <laughs> he does. Anyways, we do see the tank committee right now trying to make it difficult for these survivors to make this map as we do see them getting pushed by the tank. Smoker trying to get a pull off in the front. Not going to land though as this survivor team is just doing an excellent job putting all kinds of chips, putting that Uzi to his face right now. We do yeah, see that, that Uzi. Ooh, boom nice going spell. off in the back. All wow. three of the survivors. Very, very nice. They didn't nice. have that hunter over there. Oh. 
Yeah, unfortunately it didn't. We do have that nice punch on Bill, though. We do nice see that. Multi. Yeah, nice. That was actually a multi. I did not notice yeah. if that was. But I um, do notice that the snake is dead now. Great damage nonetheless, but I would love to see, like, with that great boom, a hunter maybe? I don't know. Because that could have definitely been a wipe by the generator room. Yeah, if you could have got on the, if there would have been a stumble there to maybe mm -hmm. assist that tank again. Exactly. Man, that would have been absolutely uh, crucial for the survivor team. And, uh, are we, what is going on here? I am frozen. Uh oh. Is that, is just, is that just me or is there just, uh. I'm not frozen. Uh oh. But I am scared. Well, they do have a quad, um. <laughs> Oh, there you go. go. Alright, they're back with the quad. All Let's right, see if right. they land it. Ooh, another little bit of lag spike here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't, what an amazing quad. Don't tell me I just missed the quad cap. Yeah, you did. No oh way. No way. Oh my god. What an amazing quad. That's what the team needed after that tank. And they landed it. Meaning, if they make map 4, or if they make this map, it's going to be all up, up to map 4, or the third map. What the fuck? I can't believe you missed it, cuz. I missed gosh. the quad! There's been so Are many- Are you back in the game? Yes, I am back, and there's oh. just- Oh my god, I am- Oh my god, I am furious. <laughs> <laughs> I am furious. I must say, kudos to Team Region for that quad. Really nice one. Oh my god, that is just unfair. That is unfair. Uh, that is like unfair. That. You know what I'm talking about with like Moosey that one time when he was casting the quad in finale? I don't or yeah, like on the first attack. Yeah, Have you seen yeah. that? And I the think... cast wasn't working? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just can't believe that just happened. I, for anyone who was actually <laughs> watching the stream, what just happened was that the, the, after that attack, after they dealt with that, uh, that tank or whatever, they pushed forward and uh, my screen just froze right there. I mean, I could not move. And it kind of looked like it came back for a split second and then it locked up again. And then we, I could still hear you and I could still hear that the tank was pushing in. And oh my god, that was just absolutely devastating right now. We do see an attack coming in right now. I mean, nice attack. And this is just completely devastating. We do see a lot of the horde funneling in. And we do see that the hunter is behind the tank doing all kinds of damage. He's always so. This could be a wipe just as well for the survivor team as we do see Nocturnal still sitting at about Wow, amazing tank. Yeah, and that is gonna probably be a wipe if Zoe Long is not on. able to pick up Zoe. one of the survivors. Oh, point ooh. blank. Yeah, that is gonna cost Nocturnal there a lot in terms of damage. We do see Lewis. A really good tank. Yeah, Lewis looks like looking like he's gonna be able to get down now. And that tank is finally gonna die. I would like to see Zoe, I don't know. I wish she like kinda shot the tank. I know she wanted to go for the clear, but I don't know, maybe if she shot the tank or picked up the other guy. Yeah, it would, it would have avoided a lot more damage, I think. If would, if but that was a really good tank. That, that was not true. Definitely making it up right there, just putting on the pressure for uh, that SI side tank, and again, man, uh, I just, I am, I, I am uh, very, very sorry for <laughs> missing that clock cap. Ah. Uh. Aww. It hurts. But, um, so how did it go down, Claude? Could you at least uh, let's right. elaborate well, a little Smoker bit? Smoker pulled back from behind the log area, and three of the survivors were by that like boomer spawn on the tree. You know what I'm talking about? Like a little bit forward. Right. And it was just like. Ooh, one... look at this, oh, Claudia! We do see wow. a quad cap of sorts. We do see Zoe completely boom. We do see two of the survivors being down from the third one getting pulled, and oh my god, that is almost as good as a quad cap. I yes, like. It is. I like those I actually those better. Attacks. Yeah, those, that was nice, but I'm so glad you got to clear. Yeah. But nonetheless, yeah, yeah one stumble landed, and the other two hunters got it, and then the guy got the pull, and it was just an oh, amazing I think run. Latino Heat is, is uh, pretty much turning up the heat, so to speak, here, because they, <laughs> they, they got quad capped, and oh my god, these attacks have just been absolutely demolishing this team right now. If you do not see the two survivors are boom, another attack is impending right now. These survivors are looking pretty scared as this attack is going in. 16 nice damage, DP landing on that boom target. And that looks like it is going to be the end after One's this. Dead. The Two 100 coming in again, and uh, One's down. yeah, yeah, this is probably going to be a wipe. But they got the distance they needed to still keep them in the lead. Yeah, good job from uh, Team Region here. They were actually going to. Oh my God, they were actually. Uh oh, spawns up. They were actually capable of making this map. They did get that mm -hmm. quad cap on Latino Heat again, but um, again, uh, Latino Heat is turning up the heat again making sure that they put on the pressure and make sure that they don't win as we do see some hunters working their way in right now these could be the game ending hunters one of the smokers nice trying feet. to get a pull right there and uh yeah just keep going down right there avoiding the cap at that 
point in time, and uh, I don't know what that tongue is breaking on, really. Yeah, me either. I think he was breaking but it on Bill. I think after that amazing tank, they knew they needed to wipe them. They knew, like, they didn't want to keep the game, like, up to map 4, you know what I mean? Well, it is up to map 4, but, um, they just wanted to keep it somewhat close. And they just did what they could with those attacks, and they turned out really well. Nice boomer pop, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a very good boomer pop coming out from the Ruby team as they are now trying to clear out all this horde. The hunters are working their way in right now. Uh, actually, that was just one hunter. They decided to just put on a scare little bit them. of a scare tactics. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do see that Legion is completely uh, black and white. We do see that I think all of them besides uh, the Enbo, Enbo. <laughs> is uh, black and white so this is a pretty much do or die situation they either gonna make it to the safe room which I do not think is an option at this point or get as much distance as they can and here you see that attack coming in right now that is the end of this oh. uh, map <laughs> you see that black and white brother dying first and then everyone else falling that victim. was a quad so it was pretty much a guaranteed wipe <laughs> oh yeah definitely and again I want to apologize to everyone watching the stream who was watching that quad cap and then it froze right at the plasma second I mean I mean, especially for me, because, uh, I, I mean, I've, I've been waiting for a quad cap this whole, say, how many games we were, I mean, it seems like the European servers are just a lot better at providing quad caps, even after tanks, where you usually <laughs> kill the boomer, and it'll give you a quad cap no matter what, as opposed to, like, the American servers, where it feels like, I don't know, they're kind of almost, mm -hmm. it's almost a random thing, but again, so there have been a lot of quad caps, say, in this tournament now, and I've been wanting to see one in just my luck, the moment it happens. Stream lags up and uh, horrible, oh, horrible. <laughs> but again, I'm sure you got to see it, and I'm sure it was a good one. And um, that's what leads us to map four up of uh, of D T here. I mean, uh, not D T. What am I thinking? This is Blood Harvest, as we now see map four about to be started by Team Region. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the scores and kind of scram them, as uh, we do see 1,343 <laughs> to 1,361. Region is enjoying the lead against Latino Heat, and again, going back to the conversation I was having with a couple of people yesterday, is that, uh, you know, nobody really knew what to expect out of Team Region, and little did they know that they would be coming into a situation, Matt Four, not in the lead, I mean, not devastating uh, lead being held by Region, but it's st again, it's still a lead nonetheless. It's enough, yeah, they have to make the map, or they have to wipe them. And I translated what uh, that guy's name is, the NNBO, and it means beer, and it's pronounced Biwa? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Dude, you are like the best co-caster ever. <laughs> Actually doing research and getting all that done. Well, I just so. wanted to know. It was like, I don't know, his name. <laughs> beer. Nice. So again, uh, I'm just going to start calling him Beer then. Beer. Yeah. What did you say it was pronounced or what? It was like Biwa. I don't know. It was weird. Biwa? Yeah. Biwa. Did they say what the country of origin was? Uh, Russian. Okay, so this is going to be a more than likely Russian team, and I'm kind of surprised it didn't go with Vodka, but again, V1 mm -hmm. here. Is this Team Vodka? Because uh, I know there is a Team Vodka or something, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think this could be. I think I've heard that, that name being tossed around yesterday when... Uh, Interesting. When I hey, I'll ask word. people to not, like, start rumors. <laughs> start rumors. And uh, <laughs> we are just waiting to see uh, the fourth member from Team Region come in. He probably disconnected. And, um, All right, it is not Team Vodka. Yeah, just like that confirmed. Rumor denied. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is this Team Vodka? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, such Thank a you. sincere no. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, very, uh, very nice no coming in from uh, <laughs> RZA, I guess. Yeah, resisted. But he goes by ROC. Ooh. Nice. And, um, yeah, guys, we're just killing some time here, so if you want to go ahead and help us with that, feel free to send us a shout-out. Feel free to send them my way to Claudia or put them in the chat for the stream and uh, we will make sure to read those for you on the air uh, we have uh, 27 people here guys let's try and get that up to 30 I know that's only three more people but uh, I feel that we can do it and uh, just go ahead and uh, send the link to people you know your parents or grandma or fucking dog I don't care yeah um, send it to everyone and uh, we will just be waiting for this map to continue and uh, Claudia coming back to you I know this is your team here Latino Heat you've played in quite other matches that have gotten them to where they are today um, what do you think in terms of just overall tournament, I mean, um, just overall in terms of the tournament, who is going to be your stiffest competition and who have you, uh, uh Alright, well, our stiffest competition, um, was definitely this team 4P. They, I think they got second place last tournament, but that was the team we lost against. And map one, we would have won a lot by a lot more, but they didn't let us play our survivor side, so it, it looked 
pretty dumb because we only won by one point, but it would have been more. And then we lost the second map and third map. But I think that is definitely the biggest competition. And they played Amazing Survivor, Synced Up Attacks, I don't know. It'll be pretty, like, amazing because that's actually... They lost against Team Dope, so they're in the loser's bracket. And if my team wins this, I think we're going to be playing a Team 4P again. So it'll oh, be interesting. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are gonna meet again, and uh, 4P, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, they are the people who are putting this tournament up. Yes, again. they are. So mm -hmm. again, want to go ahead and thank everyone over at 4P. Check them out at 4P, uh, 4 players .de. I do believe that is the website. Uh, if anyone has a correction to that, please feel free to message me. But again, uh, yeah, that is gonna be your your city's competition. And uh, as far as that, do you know anyone else that maybe uh, you're looking and maybe studying a bit, maybe not really studying, but you know just. I know one of my friends. Um, I like pancakes. Is on Team Dope. And that's the team that beat 4P. And it's kind of surprising because Team Dope doesn't play at all. Like, if you look at their profiles, it's like 10 hours or less. And it's just amazing. They don't play. They beat a good team. I don't know. It's just, I, I think it'll be exciting. Yeah, not bad. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I usually uh, like, I mean, people, I've heard the, the phrase being thrown out there, out there, <laughs> out there. <laughs> I've heard the phrase <laughs> being thrown out there saying, uh, you know, hey, uh, once you got it, you got it. You don't forget. So exactly. Left for Dead's like riding a bike, but uh, I don't know, man. I've seen some teams come back too, and I couldn't say the same. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, I seen uh, when Eximius came back. Not to name name any names here, but man, they were just not up to par when it came to all the stuff that has changed. But again, we are seeing that some teams are probably better at managing some of that uh, change. Yeah. I don't know. I wish I was like that, despite my, like, huge amount of hours. If I don't play this game for, like, two days, it feels so slippery, and, like, I can't play it. It's just awful. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's, it's the same way for me. I feel like, uh, I don't know, there's just so many things yeah, that... Yeah, I just uh, feel out of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, definitely. I have to agree. So, <laughs> now that uh, we are just uh, waiting for these teams to ready, uh, we do see a full roster from both these teams. So, it could be going in, coming in any moment now. And, uh, yeah. It looks like Make is using HR. Is that against it? I don't uh, think it has cracked. That is going to be a violation of the rules because it is oh, only it is? available right. after tank. I do believe in just everyday uh, scrims. Gotcha. And maybe he's just using it to like, uh, just probably in the safe room. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if it were to kill a common, you never know. But again, I, I wouldn't risk <laughs> it. Oh, interesting. Where he was shooting, there was like a hunter there. So it'd be really funny if he like was shooting and then got the hunter. <laughs> That'd be pretty silly. I mean, I mean, uh, again, this is gonna be one of the situations we are just making. Any idea what we're waiting here for? I mean, it's all in the chat, um, but I don't see anything. Yeah, I just see a bunch of specs talking. But um, I think honestly, we were waiting for what's his name, the person, the what's his name, the region, John region. Jones? Okay. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Yeah, we are just waiting for them to ready up now. Zay, they're probably just, uh, I don't know, devising strategies or just throwing up some prayers here, just making sure that they set the bar up high because they got to make sure that they do something good. That like, they, Whatever they do, they got to make sure that Latino Heat cannot match or beat, or Latino Heat has to actually beat it. So they have to set the bar up high and make sure that Latino exactly. Heat cannot get it because if they do not do it, Latino Heat can win right here. And I got a shout out from Mo. Shout out to Kush and Claudia, champion casters. Good job. Thank you, Mo. Oh dang! Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, like I tried a lot of different people out. Um, I mean, for the most part, I mean, it's it's a good chemistry that I get have with people. But I uh, I think this is the best back and forth banter I've had with a co-caster in a while. So uh, <laughs> thanks for being here, Claudia. Always. Remember. Of course. Thank you. And again, we will just be waiting for this game. Oh my goodness! It feels like we've been waiting for days. And uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am taking shoutouts. <laughs> a little bit of a caps lock situation there for me. Let's see what Goose or Goose Griffin has to say. I guess he has a shout out. Shout out to Roy, whose apartment building burned down. Wow. Oh, so sad. That is. I, I was reading it like it was gonna be funny. Shout out to Roy, whose apartment building burned, and then he just kind of got. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah. Is um, that true? Yeah, it is true. So Roy won't be on for a while. Oh, there we go. Wish him luck in finding a new place. Yeah, yeah, it is sad, and I do wish him luck. Um, I hope Roy's okay. I mean, from what we've heard, he is okay, but he won't be on for a few weeks. Yeah. So a big heartfelt uh, shout out coming in from Griffin right now. A big shout out to uh, Roy, a big uh, player in the U.S. community. I know yes, we messed around with him a little bit, but uh, <laughs> he is a cool guy. Done a lot for the community. He is cool. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, his apartment did burn down, unfortunately. So we wish him luck in finding a new place, and uh, yeah, you know, he might be back soon. And uh, apparently, I, I guess it is just kind of like a hearsay, a little bit of a chat going down, but it's saying that uh, I guess some crackhead was smoking or yeah. setting a pipe too close to his house, mm-hmm. and it, uh, that's really annoying. Man, I would have been, been. Yeah, it was by like Thanksgiving too, which is so sad. Oh, finally oh, live. Oh nice yeah, we are live. Pal. Great pounce and great pull. Yeah, nice damage going down from this first attack here. Uh, a little bit of uh, I caught, I kind of caught. Got caught distracted. They're talking about that whole Roy Batty situation, but uh, again, unfortunate when a friend like that is, uh, uh, you know, stricken with hard times like that. So again, hopefully he is uh, able to find that place soon. And uh, exactly, I hope that crackhead dies. So yeah, no, I'm just <laughs> I don't hope anyone dies, but still. Um, and I do have another shout out from Zorex. Shout out to Roy to. Toblin, Roy Toblin, I don't even know how to say it, best new config, oh, and you yeah. played that yesterday, did you enjoy it? That Chris? was amazing, that was just <laughs> all kinds of fun, I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous, but it was just absolutely fun at the same time, we do see an yeah. attack, trying and to set up. Is up, and oh my god, we do see a tank, and we do In see the that boomer, that is going to be a Griffin tank, that is going to be a boomer that landed on Lewis, we also did see that smoker, try to get a pull off at the end right there, he was able to get a pull, uh, for that little, uh, for that little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at shout outs right before this thing commits. We do have a shout yeah, out coming in. Yeah, and then do war rooms. Yeah, we will be doing right. war rooms. Actually, we're gonna even have plenty of shout outs. You can see these, uh, spawns are up right now. Looking like it's gonna set up in the side to the front. Actually, mm-hmm. we're working that client right now, Claudio. Oh, that's smart. So if they push out, and it's passing to, let's see who. Nocturnal. Nocturnal. So another Nocturnal tank. This is about the third one that we see in a row. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, take it to a Latino Heat War Room. No. I thought I'd get that. Nice. Rock, rock. Hi. Rock. So I'd get that B-Hop. Watch out for the push. You might want to jump off there. Well, no, I you're okay now. I can pull out if this guy's going to No, just wait. Just wait. Okay. They're backing up. Start pushing at like 20%. You can go. Fucking boomer. Need to do some damage with it. Cost. Now. Oh, man. Shit, man. You dead. You got nothing. Just one boomed in front. Nice. Nice. Go get that boom guy, maybe? Oh, nice. Good punch. Open your back. Good damage. Good job. Alright, we are back, Claudia, and that, uh... So, alright, so right before the spawns came in, or were up, I mean, um, he had to push in because he had 15% rage and he didn't want to pass it to AI. So, as he pushed in, he got a couple nice hits in, and then the SI came in and he did a ton of good damage, which was a really good tank for what we had. Like, solo boom guy, it was just really good, I think. Didn't miss punches, landed a lot of rocks. He did what he could. Yeah, definitely. I must agree with you there. That the tank did the best he could. Really did do a good job with the SI support that he had. And um, mm-hmm. let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here. And uh, no, not going to be able to deal any sort of damage inside of the room here. Not any pressure coming in from that. We do see this hunter setting up on the bottom. We do see that boomer going in right now. Going to try to get that boom. We're going to land it on Zoe. That hunter pouncing on her as well. That hunter going to get cleared at the end. That other hunter going to go for the ground pounds on Zoe. Not going to look. Not gonna land it as well, and Lewis gonna get cleared in the back, and uh... Yeah, and I completely forgot that how close this game was, so they needed to wipe them. Yeah, they needed so, to wipe them, or they can make it with mm-hmm. a lot better health bonus than 64. So, yeah, 63 right now, and it's probably going to go down to 62, yeah. So, let's see if Latino Heat could beat 62 and be the winners. They yeah. probably yeah. Really need, like, around 80, because they're down, like, 100-ish, I don't know. They do have that, uh, the benefit, Latino Heat does have the benefit mm-hmm. of winning map one, so even if they lose here, they will not be out of the game. Exactly. They will, uh, they will force a map three situation, but again, uh, Latino Heat opting to just want to end it here, I'm sure, and, yeah. um... Yeah, definitely. I, I, they are. It will be very intense to see how this goes. Oh yeah, it, it's not going to be exactly a BMW situation here, but still, exactly. do or die. They got to make it here, and they got to make it with better than 65. Pretty much a convincing lead here. They're going to probably need more closer to uh, 80 than 90. Actually, what did they do? What did they do? And, Let me uh, see. 
did about 600, 628. Actually, yeah. it doesn't really tell me. But uh, we do see that the uh, attack is now oh, up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're down. If, wait, is this correct? They're down 1,100? I do believe that is correct, but that's just because. So they need, like, this health bonus to win. Wow. I don't know. Wow. They need, like, at least the 150. Because I'm pretty sure 150 is 1,000. Wow. So it looks like. It'll be very interesting to see if they could pull this off. I did not know they were that much down. Wow, wow, wow. This is surprising to me. Yeah, the thousand is the uh, actual. So this is a BMW situation. The thousand it is, is uh, mm -hmm. the fifteen or the one fifty with uh, no health. You can see that hundred percent going right now. Going to get dead stops as we do see uh, Francis staying on his A game. And uh, again, these survivors cannot afford to take very much health bonus. We need to make sure they clear go or that health bonus will go down. We do see him taking a little bit of chip on the back. We do see some more chip coming in from the back as well. And these commoners just being pesky, pesky commons. And we do see that tank now up in the hands of make and again another make tank i do believe he's gonna have to pass as uh has been usually the case out of these make tanks that he's gonna have to pass or something of that sort so again yeah and let me correct myself excel corrected it for me they got 972 points for a 60 health bonus meaning that multipliers are on and that it probably means that um i don't know that they could make it with like a 90 health bonus and win I think. Okay, so that, that, that's what I was wondering too. I was like, yeah, like I totally forgot about that. Too, yeah. Say, they got 972 with just, uh, with just 60 something, so again, uh, it's one of those things where they're going to just need a little bit more than what they they, uh, they made it in with, so again, it was 90 to 100 would make it, or even uh, 90 would make it. As we do see this uh, tank and BO deciding to work in that little bowl and uh, Let's go ahead and uh, take the two and see We're kind of interested to see yeah. uh, how they're going to deal with this. Nice pop. Pop. Yeah. You think this guy's roll? That oh, was my roll. Great, great job, my father. How's my? And we are back, Lady, and oh my goodness, that is. Oh my uh, gosh. I think that's I'm what upset. They yeah, they, they, I think they won, but um, wow, very nice survivor play. I am kind of disappointed in the fact about how much damage he took trying to get that forklift in, but yeah, I don't know. I could see what they were trying to do there, and the boomer did get popped. Great job, Latino Heat, winning map two. And it looks like they won. <laughs> well, I don't know. I can't say anything for sure yet. There might be like oh, a yeah, no, second call. Oh, yeah. This is them right here. They've won. If you're not going to say it, I will. I mean, I did it. We want to avoid uh, that bad manners, but we're just getting the messages rolling in right now. Chuck going ahead and commenting that that tank got raped. I must agree. People are asking me why my screen is shaking constantly. It's because whenever I pick up my are mouse. Are you aimbotting? Yes. <laughs> whenever I pick up my mouse, my screen starts to shake. So see, mouse is down, mouse is up. Mouse is down, yeah. mouse is up. I don't know. And it looks like they're leaving, and it looks like Latino Heat made it with a very good health bonus. 176. Oh, my God. And I do have a last second shout out from Mo. Shout out that Heat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good job, Latino Heat. Great job. And uh, we actually saw the the team of Region actually throwing out something. Uh, uh, they, they said something about GG Specs. Maybe blaming it on the specs. Maybe or something. I don't know. Maybe saying something. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. If That's they were kind of to... sad and immature if they did blame it on the specs. I don't think the specs did anything from what we've seen all game. Although they were speaking a different language, but I don't think anyone would be that like stupid, you know, to ghost oh, yeah, or do of anything course. like that. But I mean, even then, I mean, knowing, knowing if if I was say those teams, I wouldn't have had all the specs in there. I mean, well, there's no yeah, reason exactly. to have all the specs in there. But I mean, obviously they they didn't say anything earlier, and it'd be kind of silly for them to complain at the last possible second. It's like, oh well, GG, you know, specs yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. But, and it is kind of I like. I mean, I <laughs> Euros are a little bit more lenient, I guess, about spectators. I know Americans are all like, no specs, but yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, even for uh, for a match or whatever, this is really lenient rules. I mean, even for uh, for uh, you know, I guess I guess uh, a tournament or whatever, this is really lenient rules. But I mean, just personally, say if that was my team, I'd have said, you know, hey, 
UTFO, but uh, <laughs> yeah. again, I, I don't think you have the right to complain after the fact, I mean, after the game's over, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, read all the shout-outs that we do have accumulated here. I don't know if you have any, but uh, we do I have... I don't anymore. Uh, we do have a Chuck saying uh, all hell Latino Heat, so uh, big congratulations from him to the other guy uh, for to Latino Heat for doing that, and a uh, good cast, good job. You guys did both a great job coming in from uh, Raiden, so... Big thank you to Raiden for shouting us out there. And I have a shout-out from Goose to Claudia. Shout-out to Claudia, the Scorpio guard, the Scorpio godness. So, uh, godness. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And, uh, Me I'm either. Sure, I'm sure it's uh, going to stay that way as we do see a shout-out coming in from <laughs> Shade. Uh, shout-out to Kitty Cat Catherine for being super cute from Luke. So, heart. Heart coming in like that. Uh, nice little cute shout-out. And... Um, yeah, this is going to be the end of my shout-outs. And, again, I want to go ahead and thank everyone for watching. And, um, again, uh, yeah, just if you guys haven't done so already, make sure to hit that follow button, subscribe, follow my uh, stream, and uh, follow my uh, my group there for cast. And we'll be casting the remainder of this European League and uh, the ones to come. So, again, stay tuned. And uh, thank you, sir, so very, so very, very much, uh, Claudia, for co-casting. Oh, you're evening. welcome so much. I enjoyed it. Always a pleasure. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is going to be Kush and Claudia signing out. <laughs> See you later. Bye, guys.